everybody welcome back to my channel I'm really glad you could be here with me today today I wanted to do a video about book series that I have no intention of reading I absolutely will not read these series unless something drastic happens to change my mind and that could be somebody leaving comments below in the in the comments saying hey you know you really need to change your mind on this here's why yada 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 uh, feel free I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on these book series and who knows you might change my mind it's not likely but it's possible but I do have varying different reasons for not picking up these book series and I'll go into that as the video progresses so let's get right into it see what you think and I'm going to start with the Great Coats series by Sebastian de Castell I have no interest in reading this book and I can't really pinpoint why um, I have heard some reviews on it and I do know a lot of people like the books, but I just really have no interest. And part of the reason I think, now that I'm thinking about it, is because it really is supposed to be really, really low fantasy. Like hardly any fantasy elements other than sword play and political intrigue, which is great. I, I like both of those things, but I don't like book series that are supposed to be fantasy but yet have no fantasy elements to them really and uh, the premise just doesn't really sound that interesting to me uh, even though I don't know a whole lot about it so maybe I'm mistaken let me know in the comments if if you think I should check it out after all but you know maybe if I get a free copy of the first book who knows I, I might just because I haven't had to pay for it but it's not a book that I would go out and buy and read the read the first book in the series to see if I like it I just I'm not that interested another series that I have no intention of reading is the gentleman bastard series by Scott Lynch I'm not a huge fan of heist books to begin with and I know the book series centers around uh, a thieving guild with one of the primary thieves being Locke Lamora who is supposedly this really great and amazing character I, I don't know I I've heard good things about it I've heard bad things about it but I've read the premise it doesn't really interest me and so I, I just I have no plans on reading it and I think that it is another book from my understanding anyway that is much more low fantasy apparently some of the characters have some unique gifts up their sleeve that they can use in their thieving I don't know I really don't know a whole lot about it but I've read enough to know that I probably don't really care to spend my time on it. You know, I, I'm very picky with books that go on my TBR list just because, you know, I, I'll be 45 this year. I'm not getting any younger and I've got a whole long list of books that I want to read and I just, uh, I don't know. I, I, I'm hoping I get to read them all because you never know what's going to happen. I could drop dead tomorrow. I, I, I don't think that's going to happen. And I hope that doesn't happen. But it could happen. You never know. And so I want to get as many books read on my list as I can, you know, before something happens to me or, you know, or, or something less serious than death. You know, I, I could go blind. But, but see, then I could switch to audiobooks. So, okay, here, here I go on a tangent. I know, I know. That's, I'm being so morbid, but reality, right? So, yeah, I'm not going to read The Gentleman Bastards by Scott Lynch. And I really don't think anyone can convince me to, to be honest. It just doesn't really interest me. But you can try. Again, comments below. So, 
Let's move on. The Assassins series by Robin Hobb. Again, I, I have no interest. I know a little bit about it, uh, enough to know that it doesn't really sound that interesting to me. But, I, you know, it's just, it's just one of those things. I'm not really big on assassin tropes either. Uh, I like assassin tropes a little bit better than heist tropes. But I'm still not a huge fan of the assassin trope. So, you know, it's, it's one of those things. I just, I have no, no interest. I've heard... It's a great series. It's well loved by a ton of people. Robin Hobb is a very popular author. She's well loved by so many people, but I just, I have no interest. So, okay. Sue me. What? No, please don't. I, I would hope you wouldn't sue me over that. Yeah. So let, let's, let's move on. <laughs> the Red Rising series by Pierce Brown. I kind of got my fill of uh, the whole dystopian genre after reading The Hunger Games. I did read all The Hunger Games and they were okay. They were fun books. And then the Divergent series, I also read that and I actually liked that better than The Hunger Games. But I'm just kind of, kind of tired of the whole dystopian theme for books. I like books that have dystopian elements to them, but not books that are just completely centered around a dystopian future and and, and games and contests that revolve around that. I, I'm just, I'm sorry, I'm just done. And I've heard enough positive and negative about Red Rising to know that a lot of people love it and a lot of people hate it, and it doesn't really seem like a book that I would really enjoy. Maybe I'm wrong. I, I don't know. But I just, I have no interest in picking up that book series. So uh, you can let me know what you think in the comments if you think it's well worth checking out. Again, if I got a free copy of it. <laughs> and I'm, that's not a plug. I'm not saying you need to send me the book. I'm just saying if I happen to obtain a free copy, uh, you know, if, or if it was a 99 cent download on Kindle, I might check it out, but I really have no interest at all in Red Rising. And on the dystopian front, another one is Maze Runner. No interest. It, it just seems like another cookie cutter dystopian series that I don't need to waste my time with. Yeah, I, you can tell I'm very opinionated about dystopian. There are some series that are clearly, clearly fantasy that really have some great, great dystopian elements. Uh, the Shannara series, for one. Uh, but, yeah, I, I, just books that are standalone dystopian, meh, I'm kind of I'm kinda over it. I might watch the movies if they make them. That might be fun. Uh, I enjoyed the first, I think I saw the first Hunger Game movie. Yeah, it, and, and, and it was good. I uh, don't remember if I saw the second movie or not, but yeah, I, I, I might watch the movies of Red Rising if we ever get one. So yeah, and I know there's movies of the Maze Runner out, but I... I even, even the movies don't really look that great to me. I'm like, okay. Yeah. But I might watch the Red Rising ones. Here, I'm going back to Red Rising again. Okay, okay, we're, we're, we're done. I'll, I'll, I'll move on from there. <laughs> the next one is The Alphabet Mysteries by Sue Grafton. I am a huge fan of mystery stories. You, you, you've heard me talk about how I love Agatha Christie. I love Sherlock Holmes. Uh, I like other mysteries that I've read, uh, kind of standalone mystery books that have been fun. So I really enjoy stuff like that, but I just don't have any interest in the Alphabet Mystery series. I've heard they're good. I have heard they're entertaining. 
I've heard they're really fluffy. <laughs> and I, I just, you know, if I'm going to read mystery, I'm going to read more Agatha Christie or, you know, I'll, I'll reread Sherlock Holmes or something to get my mystery fix. Or I'll read the Millennium Trilogy by Steve Larson, which I'm still reading through and it's on my TBR. You know, those are mysteries that I really want to sink my teeth into. So I, I have no interest in the alphabet mysteries. But if you've read them and you love them, that's awesome. More power to you. Uh, tell me why you love them. Tell me if you think I'm making a mistake. Go for it. I'm, I'm willing to listen. The History of Dragons by Marie Brennan. I've read little blurbs about it, and I know it's kind of set in a, it seems like a Victorian era where, where this, uh, the main character is researching the history of dragons and learning about them and everything. And you know I love dragons. I, I'm a huge fan of dragons, but this series just doesn't really spark my interest at all. I'm not a huge fan of literary fantasy, uh, especially uh, Victorian era, era literary fantasy. And this seems more like literary fantasy than than like actual fantasy and, you know, with dragons and everything. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm totally misjudging it. but. It just doesn't really spark my interest. Uh, let me know what you think, though, in the comments. I'd love to hear more about the series. The Black Company by Glenn Cook. I hear tons of good reviews about this series. A whole lot of people love The Black Company. And, and that's great, and maybe it would be a fun read. But this is another one of those series that... I feel like I've got so many books on my TBR that if I was to add another series to it, I, I just I just don't think it's going to happen. This is one of those series that I'm kind of maybe on the fence on. I might pick it up somewhere down the road, years in the future, just to give it a shot. But I really have no intention of starting it. And if if I got to the point where I had no other books to read, I'd probably go back and reread some of my favorites. So I don't get a lot of chances to reread books right now, and I think I would like to do a reread from time to time. So I, I'm, I'm just not going to pick up The Black Company by Glenn Cook. That could change. That's one of those series that maybe my mind could be changed on. It's supposed to be a really great series in more of a grim dark fashion, and I love grim dark fantasy, so who knows? We'll see. Powder Mage by Brian McClellan is another series that I have no desire at all to read. It's really, really popular. I know that. A lot of people love it. It's highly acclaimed. It's been on the New York Times bestseller list on and on and on. That's great. I'm not a fan of flintlock fantasy. And if you're not familiar with that term, flintlock fantasy just means that you've got, uh, that you've got powder guns, you know, like back from the Civil War, 1800s and things like that, where they, where they still clamped the powder into the guns and, and, and shot it off. And I, I'm just, I'm just not a fan of fantasy tales that incorporate gunpowder and guns. Uh, I, I don't mind guns. I shouldn't say that. I, I'm fine with guns, but if if that is the sole scope of the story, it's all centered around gunpowder based guns and flintlock, I'm, I'm just that's just not my thing. I really don't care for it. Uh, one exception would be uh, Miss Born Era 2. I know, I know Miss Born Era 2 has some flintlock elements to it, but my understanding is that's not the sole scope of that series. So that would be a different book for me altogether. I, I wouldn't really consider it flintlock fantasy necessarily. So 
yeah, the uh, Powder Mage, I have no desire. If you enjoy it, that's awesome. I'm really glad you do. And, you know, tell me more in the comments if you think I should still give it a shot. But it's not high on my priority list for sure and probably never going to be read by me. You know, if, if they invent clones that can be exactly like you and just, you know, you can sit your clone down and hand them these books and they read them and then maybe they telepathically communicate with you what they're about. I don't know. I know that's weird. Do clones communicate telepathically? I, I don't know. It'd be interesting, right? Oh, here I go on a side tangent again. You know, what if? Uh, yeah, I'm not going to read the Powder Mage trilogy. That's it. I'm, I'm done talking about Powder Mage. <laughs> The Right Area Chronicles by Michael J. Sullivan. This is one of those that I've kind of been on the fence on, but I really, really probably will not read this book. There's a slight chance, slight, slight chance, but I probably won't. I do have the first book in, an, in another of his series, and I forget the name of the series. But uh, the first book is Age of Myth, and I am kind of interested to read that and maybe pick up that series, but I have no desire to read Right Area Chronicles, at least not right now. My mind could be changed on that one. As I said, I'm still kind of on the fence with that, but I probably won't read Right Area. So, and Michael J. Sullivan, if you're, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. I, I've heard really good things about your series, I'm sure it's great, and I'm interested to read your others. You're, I'm sure you're a great author, but I, I just don't have time to really commit to putting Right Area on my TBR list, so it probably won't happen. But uh, guys, let me know what you think in the comments about Right Area. And finally, I'm going to talk about two series that I did start but I'm not going to finish. Now the first one, I didn't even finish the first book. And that's The Broken Empire by Mark Lawrence. The first one is Prince of Thorns, and that's the book that I started and did not finish. I really did not like Yorg as a character. I was a little jarred by the first person perspective throughout the book, although that's not a deal breaker for me. I can, I can adapt and, and handle the first person perspective, but I, I just, I just could not deal with Yorg and the story really wasn't that interesting. I did feel sorry for Yorg at the beginning um, for some of the things that happened to him to make him who he is at the present day, but I just, I had no interest. I, I completely lost any desire to finish Prince of Thorns and I and I will not pick up the rest of the series. I'm just not in, interested in it or invested in it. I like a lot of what Mark Lawrence does uh, for the uh, author community, especially for newer authors and self-published authors. He's really, really involved in promoting newer authors and I love that about him and there are a couple of his other series that I may actually pick up and and give it a shot but uh, I'm not going to come back to the Broken Empire just not going to do it not going to do it so if you like the Broken Empire series more power to you I'm glad you do. It just wasn't for me, and I'm not going to finish it. And the final book on this list is The Ender Saga. I really, really liked Ender's Game. It was a great book. It wasn't the most spectacular book I've ever read, but it was a great book. And uh, I thought the premise was interesting. It was unique and different. And I saw the movie, and I really quite liked the movie, too. I thought they did a decent job of adapting it. But 
I'm not going to continue with the saga for various reasons. It just wasn't spectacular enough for me to continue the saga. I felt like the first book, Ender's Game, could have been a standalone book. And, and I'm fine with just leaving it as a standalone for me. And I, I probably won't ever go back and reread the first book either. It's just not really my cup of tea. I enjoyed the book. I had fun with it. But I'm not going to go back to it or continue the saga. And that, that's just me. I know there's a lot of love out there for the Ender Saga and for other sagas in the series. I, I know it's very well loved by a lot of people. There's, there's a lot of card fans out there. And it's just, I'm kind of indifferent to it. You know, I, I picked up a, another series of cards, the first book in the series, and it was a um, urban fantasy series. I don't even remember the name of it, but I got to the end of it and I'm like, just, okay, that just wasn't really that great. And I, I, I just, I won't continue uh, reading him. So this is one I'm really solid on. I'm just not going to do it. Uh, and Broken Empire also. I'm very solid on. I'm not going back to it. So let me know what you think in the comments below. If, uh, if you're a fan of some of these series, let me know why. Feel free to disagree with me and have a good conversation with me about it. I love doing stuff like that. I love interacting with you in the comments. But just know, you're not likely to change my mind. It could happen, but you're not likely to change my mind. If you are like me and you just have no interest in some of these series, let me know that too. I'm, I'm always glad to know of people that agree with me and Maybe your reasons are different, too. I'd love to hear your reasons. So, that is the end of this diatribe on books that I will not read, or book series that I will not read. Yeah, these are series, not, not book. Well, they are books, but yeah, you have heard me speak. I have spoken. And I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Don't forget to do all the stuff on the side here that pops up on the screen. Make sure that you're subscribed and all that good stuff. And make sure that you are reading more books. I will talk to you in my next video, guys. Have a fantastic day. Bye.